Move over, Mr. Spray Bottle. There's a new sheriff in town. The aphids are multiplying. There's one of the buggers right there. So today, we've got some neem oil. We're gonna put a little solution together. Oh yeah, you can just see over here. All them little black spots, they're just everywhere. And it's attracting in other bugs. God, look at them all. Just hundreds of them. This is a matter of a week. Just crawling on each other. Anybody have an idea what this kind of bug is now with the aphids? The aphids attract this caterpillar-like orange and black striped bodied creature. Comment below. So we have one gallon of water. We're gonna be using Dr. Bronner's pure castile soap and Dynagro Pure Neem Oil. Look at the uh, description below, there's links on where you can get them on Amazon. Um, that's where I bought all of mine. Um, I love my Amazon Prime account because instant gratification, I get my stuff right now. It takes two days, but that's right now enough for me. Mathematically, we're gonna do six teaspoons of this and two teaspoons of that. For one gallon of water for one gallon of water. The soap acts as an emulsifier, which allows the neem oil to mix with the water better, um, therefore uh, making it spray better. One two, three, four, five, six. Now everywhere I've read says you want to try to do this in 70 degree or above weather um, due to the fact that this is an oil and it does like to start setting up at lower temperatures. So if it's early spring or late fall and it's a cold morning, it may thicken up on you. It may be difficult to work with. Hmm. Nice and shuffle. And what is this mixture for? This is uh, so we can get rid of our aphid infestation. The soap gets on their soft bodied skin and basically, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it just almost washes it away. It, it breaks down their soft bodied skin and oh. uh, makes them easier exposed to the elements like uh, sunlight for example oh. and it causes them to die. Neem oil is a natural um, oil that um, bugs don't like. Um, on one of the forums, whether it be true or not, because 98% of everything you read on the internet is true. Um, the internet said that. Um, yeah, and I got that off the internet. Um, that back uh, in the days of Egyptians, when locusts were coming through and wiping out crops, the neem tree was one that was always left behind, untouched by the bugs. So they started using it as a repellent, a natural repellent. <laughs> Miss this whole guy, because there's no bugs to this one yet. No, they were kind of jumping a little bit. 
I'll just soak the plant itself. You know, this this here is the plant that was full of them, but they started jumping to that plant, and I saw some a little bit on this one here. Pretty good reach. Like we're going to the center of the garden. Yeah, you know. So it's a very manageable hose. And you can just leave it right here on the edge. Yeah, and then it's got a good bottom to it. The hose you could get um, halfway to the garden. Yeah, it's almost longer than your reach. Yeah, I can barely make it to that. Are other you able? Plant. You're able to adjust the nozzle on that too, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I can make it a kind of stream or this spray. I can tighten it even more and make it a real gentle nest. Or you can stream it down and give it some knockdown power. To yeah, I can just, really. Oh wow! Make it a laser. That's cool. Really? Oh. Wrong way, Wilbur. Yeah, look at that. So if there's like big bugs, I think you could get some more. Big bugs. Big bugs scare me. <laughs> big bug, big bug chase me. Yeah, big bug chase me. Oh yeah, this is the setting right here. Nice wide and still got some power. Not too restricted. You can see right in here. Okay, right there, perfect example. Can you see all the black goodness or badness, whichever? We're just gonna wash them right down the drain. Oh, there's some inside of the plant too. Yeah. They want you to get the undersides. Yeah, there's plenty on the inside. You can see that's where the lot of them are. Like right in the center. It smells kind of like peppermint in a way. Because it's a peppermint, um, peppermint hemp. The Dr. Bronner's I think was a hemp peppermint. So yeah, it's got a nice smell to it. Well, in, in some of the um, forums I've read too, they said it's good to do around the base of the tomato plant too because once the aphids start to die, sometimes oh, other insects will come in to try to eat the aphids, like ants, and so it deters the ants. Well, here's some of it right here that's dripping. It's kind of like a foggy... Oh, it was there just a second. Oh, yeah, go. kind of a foggy water. Yeah, But those foggy... aphids like to... They get on the columns of the of the trunk. You can see a whole bunch right here. They love to literally chew on the flesh of the tomato and they eat the shell of the tomato or the kind of the the, the trunk or bark so to speak of the tomato plant. And that's what they eat. And then they digest it and it leaves this powdery white sugar coating on your leaves behind. And it damages your tomato plant. And it really makes you upset when you're a gardener and you spend all this time to, you know, work on your garden and, and you know, it, it can be really frustrating. So we're hoping that this works. It's like a foamy, frothy, almost like eggnog looking. Yeah. It's the color of it, like an eggnog color. Yeah, it is. From, you know, shaking it. And... So cleaning this out is a chore, but with lots of water, and I just kept putting, I'd fill it up, and then I'd put a couple tablespoons of the Dr. Bronner soap in there, and then I just, I'm running it through. I sprayed the inside out really good with a hose. I pulled the pump out. I sprayed the pump all down. You've got kind of like a coagulated eggnog looking residue on there and I just keep running water through it and I just keep doing that over and over and over again and uh, you know giving this a good shake getting all the soap around in there to help break down the oil because you're not going to want to put this away in your garden storage or what have you with it still having that solution residue left in there it'll clog everything up and uh, it'll make this useless so make sure you take care of your equipment too thanks for watching um, like subscribe don't ever watch it again whatever you'd like thank you